So question, I, I graduate film school. What camera should I buy? I'm a cinematographer. I'm going to give you a few budgets. Thousand pounds and below, 5,000 and below, 30,000 and below. Right. If let's start from the top then. 30,000 and below. Yeah. Red Raptor, which, Red Raptor, which is the yeah, one I yeah, have yeah. now. I just, because, you know, full frame 8K mm. on a industry, uh, you know, uh, recognized yeah, yeah. system where you have David Fincher and even the big, uh, you know, Zack Snyder, yeah, big yeah, guys yeah, in yeah, the yeah. sense of like doing the super Michael Bay. Mm. If they're shooting on that, it, like it's easy to convince producers or people yeah, who have yeah. no clue. If they say, no, nah, what's this camera? This is the camera that Michael yeah. Bay is shooting. They don't want to hear more. It's like, oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it's hard to find something you can't because after that you jump to the venice or the ari and yeah. then you jump to 70 80 100 000. so under 30 i would say the red raptor okay for sure Done. um five thousand and below then i guess uh the komodo is kind of uh yep. and, and i and i because it does have global shutter it has a shooting 6k but more than anything it gives you 16-bit raw mm. and i think that for post because nowadays post plays such a big role in things uh, not that you're going to be able to save your footage, but I think especially if you're starting out, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if uh, you have a lot of latitude with 16-bit uh, RAW. Okay. And I shot for years on a, for like, I think six years on a C300 Mark II, which I think is an amazing camera, but it would only do 10 bits okay, in yeah. 4K. Mm -hmm. And it would do 12 in 444, uh, but in 2K. And then it's a compromise that nowadays you don't want to have it. You yeah. want to you know, you go for it. For the four, just because again, that's what's expected. Yeah. People who ask it from you. Um, so the Komodo is around that range, but I think you do have other options, especially Black Magic, for the exact same reason. You get CDNG raw files mm. in 16 bit, yeah, yeah. and you can grade it. You know, even if it doesn't look exactly how you want, you can always calibrate the camera to compensate greens, the magentas, exactly. whatever. It's amazing. Uh, it is Super 35, not a problem, but you know, you have to, of course, think those things. The same as with the Komodo. So around five, I would say the Komodo and the. Uh, I said a thousand. That's quite low. Um, yeah, I two thousand. I think at two thousand, you're looking at second hand. Sure. For sure. Yeah, but then I would go Black Magic again, the six K yeah. pocket, because yeah. uh, I think it's such an amazing six K Pro. Yes, because uh, yeah, that's the one that has the uh, the display you can move, right? True. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you can record straight into SSDs. Yeah, and I think a natural. It's got the internal NG, internal NDs. Yeah, the yeah, new yeah. one doesn't, yeah, yeah. but the old one had. Okay. Although. Yes, that's that's the other thing. Like when you start to build up, if you want to have a, a cinema setup, yeah, yeah, there are much more uh, accessible options nowadays sure. with uh, matte boxes and filters. And yeah, yeah. so even if you don't have the internet in these, uh, people complain a lot. I sometimes think, well, but if you're shooting, let's say, let's go back up to the the cinema stuff, and now people expect like the Raptor doesn't have it. The the big one has the XL, but the Alexis, I think the new ones they do have it. I think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the, the the Mini LF, and I'm thinking, well, sure. I mean, it's a uh, the, the probably the best quality there is but it's still glass that i'm not choosing which glass is that in front of that sensor so i think if you're really on the highest level or and this should be out not in yeah, yeah. It, i do miss having on the c300 boom so fast but again you know it's it's it has to do with um having the freedom yeah it's kind of like the discussion apple or android i will always choose the freedom android uh, bro yeah oh forever but, forever exactly yeah, yeah. Uh, so under a thousand, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, do I, have after options. I like thought about it for a second, I'm like, oh, yeah, anyone, maybe you're gonna have to rent a camera for each shoot for a minute. Yeah. If you're doing a thousand, but I think there are you're burning money at that point, I guess, right? Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. but I'm sure, like, even with uh, the mirrorless, you can find, yeah. I mean, GH5, you might have to go for GH5 and then start with music videos and then move up, but um, right, yeah, and there's cheap glass, you can buy cheap glass on eBay, true, you some, can buy some vintage get some glass. FDs. It's so cheap, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like sometimes like 15, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, you yeah, buy, yeah. you know, a glass that someone just had it on their attic and they're just yeah. selling. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's. There's some options, there's some yeah. options. 